Here are a few responses to what we all were aghast to see occur in our nation's capital on Wednesday. First of all, this event is a reminder. We believe America is a great country. It's a wonderful country that I love, but it's not a perfect country. We are not perfect, and the rule that comes out of the Capitol is not perfect. We all await a time where God's kingdom will come to earth. And so I exclaim, as Paul did in 1 Corinthians 16, Maranatha, come, Lord, come. I also, in my prayers, remember the thoughts of Jesus as he commanded us to pray that, Lord, your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so we ask him to bring that will to pass very soon and that he would take over and rule in all of his power. And so as I saw this event, it reminded me of why I can't wait. I can't wait for him to come back. Secondly, it reminded me that leadership matters. The present president, President Trump, has overlooked Jesus's great principle to all of our pain. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And I would add that it cannot stand well. Abraham Lincoln, President Abraham Lincoln, was a great leader because he saw the great division in America and didn't play with it. Instead, he moved to restoratively address it. As John Maxwell had noted, everything rises and falls on leadership. The third item is that a protest is a protest. A scene that looked so ominously appropriate was the picture of a man walking through the Capitol building in a con with a Confederate flag, a symbol of America's greatest insurrection and its ongoing challenges to deal with the past. This was challenging for me and I know it needs to be noted for us because this summer we saw a protest in Washington as well that was met with a totally different response. The military was already there and in ready. There was an expectation of a violent outburst. And even at times, there was a response that matched that. That was not the case in Washington on Wednesday. We saw a military that was not called out till late. We saw protesters treated as if they were just visiting in some cases and were quickly to quickly allowed to overrun the Capitol. And so the question comes, why was one protest treated one way and another protest treated another? I think part of the answer has to be that we have still a view in our country by those who are in power that social justice is different than patriotism. One was seen as a social justice event. The other one was seen as a patriotic protest. And so in that case, the preparation was totally different. But I must remind us, social justice can never be separated from protests. Race still matters in America. And so we must be praying as a nation. We must be praying as those who are looking for a God to come and to rule and to hold us accountable for how we live out righteousness and justice, even in this present life. And so we pray for our nation. We pray for its better days than its, than its most challenging past. And we look for him to come and to show us what he will do as we live out his truth. Lord bless you.